solemnly swear. I, Elena Kagan. With this oath, for the first time in history, female justices will make up a third of the U.S. Supreme Court. Congratulations. Chief Justice John Roberts presided over 50-year-old Elena Kagan's swearing-in ceremony. A day earlier, Justice Elena Kagan has a pretty nice ring to it. President Obama and the former Solicitor General celebrated together in the East Room of the White House. So Kagan much, described what her parents might have said had they still been alive today. Uh, this appointment is not just an honor. Much more importantly, it is an obligation. For Kagan, today marks the end of a long confirmation process. 17 hours of testimony, more than 80 one-on-one -on -one meetings with senators. Republicans criticize her lack of experience as the first Supreme Court nominee in almost 40 years who has never been a judge and fear her political views could influence her rulings from the bench. Indeed, Ms. Kagan's career up to this point shows a willingness to bend the law and and the facts to advance her own beliefs. Mrs. All Lincoln. but one Democrat supported her. Mrs. Lincoln, aye. Praising her scholarly background and arguing she's the, the type who could mend a polarized court. She made clear that she will base her approach to deciding cases on the law and the Constitution, not politics. Kagan, who openly calls herself a Democrat, is not expected to shift the balance of the court. She'll replace one of the more liberal justices in John Paul Stevens. Kagan will have to get straight to work. Three hot button issues, immigration, health care and same sex marriage could all reach the U.S. Supreme Court in just the next two years. Jeff. Which Johnson outside the Supreme Court tonight with thank you.